Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 20th of May 2020 and today we're going to look at the three lessons in a little bit more in depth. Make sure that we wrap everything up um, as distance learning is coming to an end this week. We want everything in done by Friday so you can bring it in for marking um, if you need to. Although everybody who's been watching these have been sending, my, sending their work in and I've got copies of everything so um, if you've been doing that you don't need to bring it in. You can if you wish but everyone will have to return those booklets and get them marked. So the first up lesson on spelling and writing, the last bit of Jurassic Park. Um, first up, let's have a quick look at the phonemes um, because the sound that we're looking at in the spelling this week is or, as in fork, ball, saw, saw, door. This is the last time we're gonna go through the phonemes on online learning, but we will be doing it a lot in class. Okay, so 44 phonemes, 24 consonants, 20 vowels. B, k, ch, f, g, h, j, l, m, n, n, p, r, s, j, sh, t, th, sorry, th, 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 w, y, z. Now we're into the vowels where the air comes out of our mouth and forms a syllable a a air a e e ear e, 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 i o o oi u u ua or ow a now these are the key graphemes the main ways that we spell the or sound o r a, or, A, W, and double O. Just for now, I'm just going to pause very quickly and get the good old Thras phoneme book, which we'll be looking at in class, and I'm going to show you all the different ways you can actually write the graphemes or the phonics for the or sound. So hang on a sec. Okay, you should have seen me then. I had a panic because I couldn't find it. Oh, my treasured phoneme book. Okay, um, I'm just going to open up a document so that I can type that while you have a look. So the three ways that we've been looking at in the spelling now, which hasn't been shown correctly actually, which is the AL. So uh, we have OR, which is the normal way, as in FORK, A, and you may be saying how is A possible, but we have the word ALSO, OR or so. Then we have AU which is in our spelling as in audio. Then we have AW as in brawl. Then we have double OR as in door. The full double OR make the OR sound. Then the ORE as in before. Then we have AR as in award. Then we have OAR as in aboard. Then we have OUR which we think is OWL but when used as in these letters it's caught so it makes the OR sound still. AUGH which is a quad graph as in court. Then we have O-U-G-H, another quad graph, as in bought. Then we have A-L, which is the one in our spelling, and an actual word that uses it as A-L, or, is balk. Another one is chalk. Another one is stalk. Another one is talk. And of course, another one is walk. Then we have O-U-R, as in dinosaur. Then we have AWE, of course, as OR, and that's actually one phoneme. AWL, as in cork, which is a type of flooring. URE, which you think would be UA, but here is OR, as in sure, a sight word. Then we have ORPS, as in corpse. Um, not corpse is in the dip, although. ORPS. Yes, you could have corpses in corpse like that as well, but corpse is in Army Corps. And then you have OA as in broad. And then you have O as in story. 
and then you have um, HAU as in exhaust. So all these words here are all different ways to make that OR phoneme. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All those different ways make that OR sound. And these would all come from different countries with different etymologies, which is why they are spelt like that. So phonemes are a very complicated thing and they're not based on the letters. And we will be right back into that understanding when we return to school next week. But the spelling for today, what we're going to do today is we're going to take that OR sound out. Okay, and we're going to do some bubble writing with it to really examine it. Okay, so for example, audience has that AU sound, so you would write it this way. Now it's it's a uh, digraph, isn't it? AU or so when you do it the other way, you have to AU hang on AU D I E N C E. So you circle it this way, then you circle it that way, and that way you've captured the digraph of the OR sound. Okay, now don't get tricked up with your spelling and thinking that it's only one letter or two letters that are making the OR sound. So in lawyer, it's A W again. Alright, so lawyer. So we go this way, we circle it this way, and of course here is our digraph, OR. So that's what I want you to do with your spelling today, to really capture that OR phoneme and the different ways that it's being made. So in author, that's a digraph, claw, A-W, auction, that doesn't, it's an A-U, but it doesn't make an OR sound, forget that one, don't do it. And this is what I mean about concentrating on letters and not the sounds. That is a completely different sound. Waltz, yep, there's the A. Alter, or or alter. Now it's just the A, the L separate. Laundry, there's your AU. Trauma, AU. Awkward, awesome, there's your trigraph. Or though, although, don't get your L in there, that's just a graph. Awful audience falter for or alter just the a war or or it's just the a it's not the l the l is there but it makes a separate sound w or l n a t it's a completely different sound it's not with the a nausea a u yawning a w haw all is just the a daughter is the a u International, different word, different sound. It's just a, an extension word, don't worry about that one. Planetarium, different word, extension word, imitation and prehistoric. So that's your spelling today. That's the last big spelling activity we're going to do with online distance learning, but I just really wanted us to examine those phonemes and not brush over them. Okay, so for your writing activity for today, we're up to that very last part of the Jurassic world and it's where you do your writing. Now this is your last one. We're not going to continue on with writing for the rest of the week. Just do a good job with this one. Think about your sentences. Whoops, not that one. Think about your sentences. Say them in your head before you write them. Write them down. Use good vocabulary, complex sentences with although, because, whereas, therefore, okay? Um, and go back and proofread your work. So you're continuing on from this. The engine screamed as the wheels spun around. Her heart pounded. Tim knew he had only he only had seconds to act. There was a long moss-covered log wedged underneath the jeep, preventing it from moving. The wheels continued to spin. I do not know why that's a capital. Pointlessly, smoke started to billow out from underneath the bonnet. A terrifying roar filled his ears and he knew the monster was right behind him. There's a comma. That's a mistake. It should be a full stop. He could feel the ground shake beneath him as its gigantic feet collided with the ground. He knew what would happen if it caught him and he should be in there, muttered a prayer beneath his breath. This is really good because it's showing 
um, how important it is to go back and edit your work. You don't want mistakes like that in your work. Tim suddenly found himself lunging forward. He realised that the wheels must finally have found some traction and he breathed out with relief as he sped off onto the path once again. The wheels of the jeep content to be chewing up the gravel once again. Ugh, it's terrible writing. Once again and once again. So you don't you continually use words like that in your writing. Um, chewing up the gravel underneath him or something like that. The chase was back on and the T-Rex let out another blood-chilling roar, determined not to let its prey escape. Dot, dot, dot. You can do a better job than that. Little One more challenge for you, just because we're finishing off and we're back next week, is I want you to take those four extension words, if you want to do this. It's a good challenge, though. Um, and those four extension words are international, planetarium, imitation and prehistoric and put them into your writing for this week. And that's it for that writing. Um, have fun with that. I'm looking forward to reading them and think about those phoneme bubbles. See you for next lesson.